So you probably remember my electric dirt surfer, and I made it for backpacking and long distance rides. But when I actually took it out on its first adventure, it really became clear to me that riding this thing long distances is actually very difficult, not the least of which is stopping and starting. And today I decided to try and fix that by seeing how a trekking pole works as a mobile post to stabilize myself and get started. So wedge that into the ground and try and get both my uh, feet up onto here. All right, so that was the first attempt. That actually worked out pretty well. I practiced last night on my carpet and the tires were flat, so it was a little bit easier to stand on it with the uh, trekking pole to stabilize. But it seems doable, even on uh, hard ground here. Yeah, it's quite difficult to do, but still doable. <sighs> nope. Definitely need to have a stable balance before I tr try to get started here. Oh, As you can see, it is exceedingly difficult. There we go. Again, once it picks up speed, it's not as uh, unstable. It's only at really slow speeds that it's super hard to control and stay balanced. And here, we gotta dismount because of the road. And the trekking pole actually helps to stop and dismount without stumbling too. See, when I have something more stable to balance myself on like this, it's easier to stay stable on the board. Because at least this is rock solid. And with this, I just have to give a push and away I go. So when I tried to go backpacking on this thing and I wound up getting super sore and was having issues launching it, I was getting pretty frustrated uh, with this thing. And I pretty much lost hope in uh, using it for any long distance adventures, but uh, I'm kind of stubborn. <laughs> I don't really give up when I probably should. So this uh, trekking pole idea definitely seems to help a little bit from trying to stop where there's nothing to actually hold on to. That's one problem essentially solved, but there is one issue that I still have to fix, and that is just training, because this thing, riding this thing for a long distance, even at speed where it's nice and stable, oh my, does it actually hurt the legs. That's why I had to bail out on that trip. The dirt surfer was working fine. My legs gave out. So I think if I uh, use it for any actual long distance adventures, I need to actually train with it. All right, one more launch attempt here. I probably just need to practice it and get a little bit better balancing. So if I don't have a uh, pitch perfect balance when I uh, try and hit the accelerator, I uh, stumble off before it picks up enough speed. Okay. Up onto the board. Nope, we're not quite stable. Nope. Takes a lot out of you too, trying to launch this thing and ride it. Oh, more cardio than you would think. There we go. Nice cruise. Head down to the bike trails for a bit by the lake. You'll have to excuse the birds right above me there, but uh, the trekking pole actually seems like it's more stable when it's stuck in the ground. So let me try launching with the trekking pole stuck in the ground. See if that gives me more stability. Of course, hopefully I could pull it out when I pick up speed. Yeah, definitely seemed like it had a bit more success. And I also, uh, once I got moving, I pulled it out and actually stuck it down again. And that helped me get the stability to get going. So it's like a, almost like a training wheel for this thing. 
Uh, interesting way to think about it. Woohoo! I'm really starting to get the hang of it. All it's taken is a bit of practice, and uh, I'm really starting to get the hang of this. Just really good. So, right foot on the dirt surfer to stabilize it. Put all my weight onto the uh, post as I step up and immediately hit the throttle once I feel like I'm balanced. Down again, down again, and we're away. Feels good to get this thing out for a ride, man. The whole winter it's just been sitting there teasing me. So overall, uh, despite some of the issues with me and riding this thing, the build itself, I'm actually very happy with how this thing turned out. There's only one outstanding problem. It's the only issue I have with it, and that's that the battery box is too small. I kind of had limited space to work with. And essentially I can only fit one battery in there at once. So if I bring three batteries with me to try and do like 30, 40 kilometers, one goes in the battery box and the other two go in my backpack, which weighs it down even more because I have to get, bring all of the charging equipment and all of the uh, inner tubes and stuff that I need to repair it in case I get a flat and you get the picture. So if I were to do this again, that's the only thing I'd change is a, a bigger battery box. I probably should have used something a little bit more durable for the battery box too. This is just a uh, crappy, uh, container that I think I got from Walmart or something to that effect. So if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I was talking about a uh, underperforming battery. That's this one right here. It's a 288 watt hour battery minus any degradation and it is very amp limited. So when I'm trying to ride this thing, it takes even more effort to get going from a standstill because of uh, the limited performance of it. So I'll move that battery, put this guy in. Good to go. Now that we're on the uh, poor performing battery, let's see if we can get going from a standstill with this and that. Up and nope. Uh, poor balance on my part. Right. Yeah, that battery has almost no power at startup. All right. Let's practice this a couple more times and see if I could do three launches in a row without falling off. Which uh, might prove to be troublesome because I'm using the uh, amp gimped battery right now. Launch one. That was a success. Launch attempt number two. Second one was a success. Let's see if I can go for the hat trick. Yeah, I got three successful launches in a row without stumbling off. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of this. So there's this uh, hill behind me. I kind of want to see if I can ride my dirt surfer up it. <laughs> Not quite sure what I was expecting, trying to use the weakest battery to get up the steepest hill, but hey. It's warm weather, it's spring, I'm out here, and I want to have some fun. Make that four launches in a row without falling off. How's it going? off-road because why not this is what a dirt surfer is all about 
This thing is better off-road than my electric mountain board. Yeah. I've uh, started getting to the point where I can come to a stop and then stick my uh, trekking pole down and not even have to stumble off of the board. Oh man, this was a great idea. The occasional bail trying to get started certainly beats trying really, really, really sketchy starts from a standstill with nothing. I'm never doing that because it is, I've almost hurt myself doing that. All right, well, I think it's pretty safe to say that this uh, little experiment was a resounding success. And I look forward to actually taking this thing out on some more trips in the future, now that I've got one of the problems figured out. But like I said, we'll target some shorter distances, maybe about 25 kilometers every leg or so. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. See ya.